Hey guys, it's Casey with Small Business Millions. Wanted to give you guys a quick little video today. I got uh, got home from a couple auctions and a couple sales and uh, I, uh, I figured out another one of the hottest items that's on our list that we don't keep on our list because we don't like to let anybody know about it. Uh, but everybody already knows about it. I just uh, try to compete with all the local people because this kind of merchandise sells uh, very quickly at every sale, every auction, every garage sale, yard sale, Craigslist, Facebook, you name it. If it's listed, it sells. Um, which is the reason why we buy it, because it sells so quickly. When you put it on eBay and Amazon, history, history, history. You can sell it right away. So that uh, merchandise is Disney merchandise. Everybody knows Disney's collectible. Everybody knows everything about Disney. Uh, so if you can find good quality Disney merchandise at a good quality price, uh, you can bet it's going to sell. You're going to make some money. So uh, let's look at the two items I got today uh, to uh, give you an idea of just how much I'm talking about. Um, Say hi, Roscoe. Roscoe's in the background just chilling. Uh, this is a, everybody can recognize this, an 8x10 uh, Disney World photo album. It's one you buy when you're at the park. Of course, I live in Florida, so the Disney merchandise for me is very, very easy to come by, which is a, a great thing for me. But um, this 8x10 uh, photo album, brand new, it's still got the plastic. I don't know if you guys can see that plastic right there, but it still has the original plastic on it. When you open it up, sheets all in the plastic here lots of picture album places and notes you can take right here so it's a great little book on the back you know just a typical walt disney world um this book is about forty dollars for this photo album 35 40 dollars at the parks uh you can see they put uh, a five dollar price tag on it i asked to get it for three and we settled at four so uh i bought it for four and this is a quick flip on ebay at uh, roughly seventeen fifty to twenty dollars. So um, after you take in our fees and our shipping, and everything in account, I should pocket somewhere around I don't know fourteen or fifteen bucks paid for. So ten dollar profit on a on a four or five dollar uh, you know four dollar item. So uh, I could have bought it for five if she had said no. I would have still took it. Uh, and here's the other item uh, that I got today. This is called Kingdom Hearts. It's a video game for PlayStation Three. There's several of them. This is a uh, uh, edition 1.5, the remix. Uh, there's an original, there's a second edition, and there's a 2.5 remix. Um, this is a video game that involves the Disney characters. You can see Donald and Goofy and Mickey on the cover there. Uh, and this particular game uh, sells for around 15 bucks uh, on uh, on Amazon or eBay all day. And I paid five dollars for this from a pawn shop. Uh, immediately all the Disney games. Uh, there's an Epic Mickey game. There's an Epic Mickey 2. There's a bunch of Kingdom Hearts games. So, uh, you know, all of, just like Mario sells really well in the video game world, the Disney video games, they all sell really, really well. Uh, especially on the kids' handheld systems, DS, 3DS, uh, DSi XL, those all sell really good for Disney. Uh, another item I picked up not too long ago that was a really good purchase, uh, it was at, uh, I think it was an estate sale it might have been, or a moving sale. Uh, it was one of those snow globes you always see everybody with, but it was a big one. It was really, really big. I mean, like probably three times the size of a normal one you'd be used to. And it had all the Disney characters in it with the Magic Kingdom in the background. It had to be probably at the park $100 if somebody bought this from the park or online or whatever. Uh, they sold it to me for 10 bucks uh, at the estate sale. I didn't even look it up. I didn't even bat an eye. Uh, and when I got home, I figured out that there were only a few similar ones that had sold on eBay. Uh, every one of them sold for between 50 and 60 bucks. Uh, I put it up for 59.99 and it sold the next morning. Uh, I had to ship it really, really carefully. I got some, uh, styrofoam and some padding, some good bubble wrap, packed it up real good. It got to the lady, um, safe and sound. Uh, my net on that was, uh, I believe I netted right around 45 bucks with the shipping and the insurance. Uh, so I paid 10 for it. So I made $35 because it was Disney and it was really, really nice. And, uh, the $10, you could have looked it up, but... There were other people, so I just grabbed it, put it in my hands, and bought it. Didn't negotiate, no chance. Because I sold other snow globes for twenty twenty five that were smaller that I paid a couple dollars for. So I was pretty safe in, uh, in buying that one. So that's the hot item for tonight, guys. It's July uh, 18th, 2015. Disney items. Always be on the lookout for Disney items. Everybody knows that, but just a reminder, pawn shops get a lot of it. People pawn it. Uh, yard sales, garage sales, great for it. Even if you don't live in Florida, uh, people go on vacations to Disney World few years down the road kids grow up move out they sell the disney items so uh there you go uh check out the links down below as always 
Uh, getting lots of subscribers. I appreciate that, guys. Keep on doing it. Subscribe. You'll always get notices when I uh, have new videos. You can keep up with us on the Facebook and Twitter timelines. Uh, I'm going to get the Instagram going. Uh, it's been slow going because I have another Instagram for my regular business that I use a lot. We spend a lot of time on it, so keeping up with this one's Instagram has been a little tough, but I'm going to get on it, guys. Uh, smallbusinessmillions.com. This is Casey. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.